Hello all and welcome to tonight's beer comparison, which I am dubbing the Twisted Nerve Comparison because I've been practicing that song all day long. <laughs> Whistling, that is, you know that. You know that song, yeah? Okay. Anyways, so what are we comparing today? Well, we are comparing Hawaii's top two loggers. That is, of course, well, ruling out Heineken, obviously. Loggers, technically, that are affiliated with Hawaii as opposed to the Netherlands. So, that is, of course, Longboard Island Lager from Kona Brewing and Primo, uh, <clears throat> which is owned by Pabst and has a long history since 1897. I've done a review of it before done a review of both of these before. So why am I comparing them? Well, this one is technically an American pale lager, so it's all malt. Primo is, um, you know, American adjunct lager. It's a macro lager made by a macro brewing company. Traditionally, the adjunct used in Hawaii was sugarcane syrup, which makes sense because it's a lot harder to go and you know, get corn as a brewing adjunct here in Hawaii, use an adjunct that's at hand. Okay, so I'm going to be comparing it in this because I don't have two pills in our glasses. So, this is going to have to be quick because the heads on these don't last long. Rich, malty, kind of crackery on the sweet side. Floral hops. You can see the previous review for that. These are at the same ABV, 10 is even faster on this one. Not much of anything there. Very, a lot of sweetness, but not much dimension to it. Maybe a slight crackeriness, virtually no hops. Not much smell left in this one because the head's completely gone. Colorization, you can see. Both of them are fairly well colored, um, car carbonated. This one, slightly more cloudy and just a hair darker in coloration than Primo. Biscuity with a slightly sweet in the mid to finish. Kind of floral hopping going on there. Not too strongly hot, just hit a bitterness in the front, in the back end that clears the palate. Not too much dimension to the hopping, um, there's not really much spice, just a, kind of a floralness, a slight herbalness, clears the palate. much sweeter. You really taste the sugar on this. Not too much dimension to the malt, so you can't really say they're bready or crackery or biscuity. Kind of watery mouthfeel. Very watery mouthfeel, actually. As for hops, there's a brief flash of bitterness in the mid palate. 
and towards the end it clears the palette, but there's not much there to clear. Um, other than sweetness, of which there's still a ghost after you finish, but it's not a cloying or overly lingering one. There's not much to clear off that palette, because there's not much that's being brought to the front. Very prickly on the tongue. When you come back to this, it's like an explosion of flavor, flavor from start to finish. Um, even though, as a American Pale Lager, it's a, uh, it's it's pretty mild, say compared to, uh, you know, the Pilsners offered up by uh, Sierra Nevada. Or, you know, German companies. Or even Gordon Biersch, for that matter. Both of them are beach beers. You drink on a summer day. Primo's not offensive. You just know they're there. Unless you're counting the history, which apparently Paps thinks it can buy, along with the brand name. Would have been interesting to go and see what Primo was like uh, back in the 1890s when it had a German brewmaster that moved to Hawaii. <clears throat> and how they fermented it, for that matter, that's um, of some curiosity for me. Uh, because fermenting is, well, there's a reason why rum and distilled things are usually tropical beverages, because it distills pretty easily, you know, it ferments pretty easily and quickly, and distilling goes and removes whatever off tastes you got going on from the uh, uh, tropical heat that's uh, behind that distilling, uh, behind that fermenting. It's late, it's after, it's almost 1 a.m., so. That's why I'm tripping over my tongue here. So, that's pretty much it. Which one do I go for? Well, obviously, in, if in a beer store, I'm going to go and pick up a different Pilsner. At a bar, I'm probably going to order a longboard, because it's pretty easy to find longboard here in Hawaii. If I go to a party or a beach, and there's a cooler full of Primo, well, I'm probably going to drink it, because it's not offensive like, say... Natty Light would be, or, you know, so many other things. It's better than Bud Light, but then Bud Light pretty much tastes like carbonated water with alcohol added to it. So, that's your beer comparison for tonight. I bid you a good night, and...